in this particular point. For me, seeing that splash was a defining moment for me. And that was something that I wanted to recreate. That moment that I saw it, I wanted to be able to live that again in some capacity. I wanted to be able to experience more. So, I was 10 years old at the time. I didn't really have very much opportunity to actually go out and buy records. I had a limited allowance at the time. I couldn't really do very much. What's more, I'm really dating myself by saying this, this was before the era of much music. This was before the era of the internet. I mean, I guess these things existed in some of the office cloud. But it was before all of those things happened. You couldn't just dial up like a song or a YouTube and experience of any given time. It was something you had to search out and you had to find. So I started going to record stores. You may remember record stores. They were these stores where you could buy music. It was an incredible idea. It was different from buying something on iTunes. It was an actual physical thing that you were holding your hands. It was something that actually had some sort of shape and substance. It was big. It was like 12 inches long. It was amazing. You could see this piece of art. It was a square. And it had art on it. And it had a cover. Sometimes it had a picture of the artist. So you could look at them and you could see what they looked like. And that was a great connection to it. Sometimes, though, it wasn't the artist. It was a piece of art. It was something that you could see and you could imagine, and you didn't even know what the artist looked like. You didn't have any idea. As I got older, I got really interested in David Bowie's work. I listened to a lot of his stuff. And he's like a gateway drug. I'm sure that a lot of you know that really by listening to David Bowie, you'll be introduced to so much music. You'll be interested in Philly Sowell. You'll be interested in... Uh, German electronic, the mixtures to other bands. It's like a gateway drug into Catholic, into soul music, into Luther Vandross. He used to work with Luther Vandross at one point. It's into so many different things. And I was introduced to this incredible catalog of work, this incredible catalog of music. One of the bands that I got into around that time, when I was a little bit older, was Joy Division. And I was fascinated by them because they had these albums and they had these pictures and you didn't know what it was all about. It was a squiggly line. Oh my God, it's that picture right there. That, you hold up your phone, so sadly. But it was so mysterious.